uh, say the same thing that I said, uh, you know, about Gaza and continue to say uh, the, uh, the numbers of casualties have been, civilian casualties have been far too high. Uh, we'd like to see, um, you know, Israel scale back on some of the strikes that it's taking, in it, uh, especially in and around Beirut. Uh, and we'd like to see things transition to uh, some, some sort of negotiation that would allow uh, civilians on both sides of the border uh, to return to their, to their homes. And, and that's the point that I'll continue to make with uh, Minister Gallant. And I think, uh, yes, he does, he does take on uh, my, uh, my input. Uh, and, uh, the Financial Times just recently that when it comes to missile interceptors. Certainly I've, I've seen and, and heard the reports that uh, UNIFIL forces have come under fire. Uh, I've raised this issue with uh, my counterpart, Minister Gallant, uh, and, uh, and again, uh, it's, it's a war zone, so a number of things can happen. Uh, he assured me that there's no intent of, of him or, or his forces to, uh, to target UNIFIL forces. But again, I continue to emphasize how important it is uh, that, that those forces don't come under attack. So. What we what we saw recently is a sharp decline in in uh, the amount of HA that was going in, and so we need to turn that bend that curve in the, in the other direction. We need to uh, make sure that these uh, these the civilians in Gaza are getting what they need to survive. Um, I think you have they have a window of opportunity now with Hamas's leadership. Uh, being taken out of the out of the picture, to really begin to focus in earnest on the people. Uh, the as I said earlier, though the the primary objective is to get the hostages released uh, and and get a ceasefire. President Biden has been very clear on that, uh, and he and and the team are working hard uh, to do what we can to to bring that to to fruition. So uh, that work con continues. Uh, Laura, I've seen those reports in the media. Uh, I can't confirm uh, uh, those reports at this point in time. It's something that, uh, that we will uh, certainly continue to uh, investigate. Um, if that is the case, it's serious, obviously. And, uh, but it also indicates that Putin is having trouble. You know, we know that, that he's lo he continues to lose a lot of people. And you heard me say before that he's lost uh, somewhere north of uh, 350,000 people uh, killed and wounded. And we believe that that number is probably much higher than that. So, you know, we saw him go tin cupping to North Korea and in, in, in uh, Iran um, months ago when he began to experience serious problems with munitions. And so, if this is the case, then this would be the, doing the same thing for people. Um, so, um, but again, if, it, uh, if that's true, it, it's serious. It's something that we'll continue to, to, to watch. So. You know, you and Secretary Blinken wrote this letter that was made public um, to um, the Israeli sufficient care in Lebanon. Um, you know, there have been reports of more than 2,000 people killed since the beginning of the Northern Front. As well as leadership, as well as its capabilities on the ground, uh, to help them uh, get what they need to be able to be effective in uh, in operations. So. Thank you. Thank you.